Welcome to Bites, the show that brings together London's best undiscovered places to eat. Along with the freshest artists and YouTubers. Coming up on this show, we've got hip-hop artist Jay Prince and Steve Pretty from the Hackney Colliery Band. We're here now in Brixton and we're about to go and try some food from the Bukowski Charcoal Grill. Or is it Bukowski? Uh, this is our second venue. The, here we decided to start making uh, ribs. So basically, here it's just about burgers and ribs. The meat comes from uh, the country butcher, which is a butcher based on Herefordshire. So we only use rare ribs, and it's really good quality meat, aged for 28 days. The basic burger is uh, 6 dollars uh, really good quality meat, and uh, in a brioche bun. So, you know, we always try to mix things up with the menu. We make all our sauces, uh, the ketchup, the mayonnaise, the spicy sauce. We change a little bit the flavor of the mustard, and basically, when you come here, you know that uh, you cannot get the ketchup anywhere else, or the mayonnaise, or anything that you get on the table, just just Tim Kowski's. So we're here now with Steve and Jay, and our food has arrived, and it looks pretty good. I reckon. Looks, looks better than pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> What's everyone got? I've got um, some sort of burger with uh, jalapeno mustard. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Yeah, um, I got like a, a barbecue chicken burger kind of thing. It's pretty big, but yeah. Yeah, I went for the vegetarian option for all our vegetarian viewers because there's a lot of them out there. I've got, um, what have I got? You have ribs. I've got, I've got ribs. <laughs> <laughs> it, they're pork, aren't they? They're pork, yeah. There you go. Cool, was, yeah, let's, let's go for this it. Is, yeah, I'm, I'm going to definitely have to do this for this episode, because <laughs> this is a nice shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Mm. And it's not, it, you get a lot of food for not too much money as well, it's, it's very reasonable. Yeah. And they've got, so we're in Brixton right now, and they've got another chain at the Shoreditch Box Park. Yeah. Bukowski. Bukowski, apparently he was an American poet. Charles Bukowski, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah oh. Great. Yeah. You know um, that? Yeah, yeah, he was, he was a sort of, um, in that thing, 50s, great, great, sort of, um, uh, beat poet, sort of, yeah, yeah. Can't you a poet, aren't you? Yeah, you can take it to some extent, um, yeah, I'm a musician, rapper, and yeah, I, I guess it's some sort of poetry where I write and kind of, kind of the vocal kind of, my music, you know, so the poetry definitely is something I've been able to do since I was kind of young as well, so. I want to know, are you related? To the Prince. Oh, I'm not in it. Oh, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> is Jay Prince your real name? No, Jay is short for Jason. Oh, Prince. Okay. Is it my real name? That will remain a mystery. Oh. I, love, I, love the, I love the mystery, but you know, Jay is just short for Jason, so you know. And your, your music is sort of described as sort of chilled out, mellow, sort of vibe. Yeah, I guess it's pretty relaxing. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's kind of annoying after hearing that a million of times before I actually share it to people, but yeah, people do say it's kind of, it comes across like, Mellow. I'm kind of a laid back person anyway, so I kind of like to put like my personality across like musically. So I guess yeah, mellow. And Steve, tell us a little bit about yourself for our viewers. So uh, my name is Steve Brizzy, and I uh, am in a band called the Hackney Colliery Band, uh, which is sort of a modern brass band. It's such an amazing sound. The, 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 like the, the brass band, but it's such an unusual way. You know, people wouldn't think. I'm thinking of a brass band, you don't think of the sound that yeah. you guys make. I, mean, I remember seeing uh, Hypnotic Brass Ensemble, mm. and it's just absolutely incredible. And yeah, so when we first started the band, we were really influenced by, in fact, we sort of decided to set it up um, with these uh, good friends after we'd seen some new bands from the States Hypnotic Brass Band, mm. uh, sorry, Hypnotic Brass Ensemble, and the Young Blood Brass Band. Um, and then we thought it would be really good to do a kind of British version of this, and of course, the UK has got a real tradition of more traditional brass music and so we sort of try and have a bit of a UK take on that sound but I mean we're very much a festival band, you know, we play clubs and festivals. Uh, oh, it's perfect for that. Yeah it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but we also try and bring a bit of that kind of British, European brass sound mm -hmm. into what we do as well. Yes. And your new EP? Beyond our time? Before our time, yeah. Before our time. And I announced that yesterday. Almost. Oh, okay. That's why it's new, so I haven't quite got the name of my video. I just literally announced it last night. Wow. It was it was a kind of a spontaneous thing. I'm like, yeah, I have to get this out there now because it's kind of been in my head for for a while and I'm like, yeah, now I'm really still working on a release date, but I'm gonna keep people updated. 
Well, I'm, well, there's one thing I want to ask you. Go on. Um, you have a turtle, no, tortoise. <laughs> yes, <right>? good knowledge. <laughs> I don't know how you found that out, but yeah, that's true. So, and does he have a name? He does. His name is Melville. Wow. Yeah, yeah I think I've got a tortoise here. And what's the difference between a tortoise <laughs> and a turtle? <laughs> um, this is an unexpected uh, ending. I like it. A turtle's, uh, it is uh, water based. Okay. Yeah. I think I think uh, in America and various parts of the world they they're interchangeable. They, they were all called turtles, but um, oh. yeah, Melville is very much a land-based. <laughs> and what does he live in your bedroom? Uh, he lives he lives in our house, um, uh, and we've got a kind of little uh, it's called a tortoise table, <laughs> but it's, it's kind of about the size, <laughs> and he's got a sawdust in the little house. In there. Yeah, he's great. He's great. You played at the closing Olympic yes. ceremony. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. That's How did that come about? That's it incredible. Was a, it was a funny one, um, that one. We, we uh, got invited to play uh, there through, I think someone just saw us at a little, actually another new material night we did some, some years ago, um, just in the pub, you know, and there was a small little gig. Um, and someone saw us and we got recommended to David Arnold, who was the director of it. They asked us to do a load of British covers. So we were the we were the warm up band in the stadium. Um, so we did about a 50 minute set um, for the main show. 15? Five, uh, five, five zero. Yeah, wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, no, it's great. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty good. It's, I <laughs> it's think a it's pretty good game. It's probably the only time a recovery band will ever play in the stadium. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Well, thank you so much for coming to talk to us. And Sorry. yeah, we really appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. So I think we're going to go and destroy the rest yeah, of the Yeah, I'm going to put these away. <laughs> <and> actually, yeah, <laughs> just... So we've just finished eating a Bukowski charcoal grill. Or is it Bukowski? Here in Brixton Market. And wow, just incredible. The food keeps on getting better and better in these bites episodes. It does. Great burgers, great ribs, great homemade ketchup and drinks. Yum. Just incredible. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we hope to see you. This is the end of season one. <laughs> we hope to see you again sometime next year. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe for more. Bye. Bye.